Hello, hello, how are we today? Thanks for joining me, Lori from Art Lore. So I changed my background. Um, three of my favorite single blooms are up here. I actually do have another one, but it's still drying. Um, got this inspiration from Rinska. Um, I know I'm butchering her name, but you all know who she is, but uh, don't get us confused because I know we look a lot alike. Um, just kidding. Um, anyway, um, she inspired me that background. I do need to paint my wall white though, because this is, um, was my daughter's bedroom. And, uh, one of these days with some of my whites that I don't use anymore, my gallons, I'm painting this wall white to make it, um, prettier. So, um, I do apologize for all the scratches and the holes in there. But anyway, I'm getting there, slow but sure. So today is going to be fun, fun colors, uh, only two colors. And like I've said before, I don't consider my gold a color because it's just a necessity. So my two colors um, are, are very much um, opposites of each other. They're loud, uh, they're bright, and I think it's going to be fun. It's a 12 by 24 canvas gallery wrap from Michaels. And um, got my pillow down already, and my pillow is the PPG Multi Pro, and it's the um, four. Oh goodness, what is it? It is four seven three one one zero. So let's get down to the canvas. I'm going to make a mess, show you my colors, and we're going to do three blooms, spin it out, deconstruct it with spinning, and see what we get with just two colors. So let's get down to the canvas. And there we are. Let's see. I think what I need to do is bring you over a little bit. Yes. Let's just see how that looks in frame. Oh, I could bring you up a little bit more. Square you up. There we go, and you're in focus, and everything looks good. Okay, so first up, this is so, so pretty. It's Liquitex, and it's a brilliant purple. Isn't that a pretty purple? Oh my gosh, I just love it. And um, this one here is an opaque, and I think it's going to be beautiful. And I am going to start with this color. This one is a conglomeration of Arteza Scarlet Red Semi-Transparent and Napfeline. Um, I'm not familiar with this. I don't even know where I got this. Napfeline Carmine and its essentials. And um, I don't even know what this is as far as transparency goes because they don't tell you. So I don't care, um, it's going to go on second and my gold will go last. And then I'm going to drizzle a little bit of that purple, but it's really pretty. I think it's going to be fun. Very, very loud, very fun. And of course, the last little morsels of my gorgeous Yumalicious TLP Harvest Gold. Okay, so let's do this. Um, bang, bang, and bang. Deconstructed over the sides with spinning. And here we go. So let's do this. We're going to go right here with this yummy, 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 brilliant purple. Um, then we will do my red. Oh yes, I love it. Oh, and I forgot my cell activator. I get so busy, you know, I start, I start wanting to paint and then I look in a drawer and it's like messy and then I start organizing. That's the OCD in me. I just, I have to organize constantly. It's kind of weird, but I love it. It's exhilarating for me to organize. There is my gold. I hope I have enough for the other, because I want lots of gold in here. Hopefully we will get lots of gold. So let me grab my self activator. And my self activator is, of course, the magical Aussie Flow Troll. 
uh, three to one with the Amsterdam Oxide Black. And my pouring medium is the Bare 8300, and I do two parts of that to one part of the Minwax um, Polycrylic, and I use the clear semi-gloss. All right, so here we go. I'm almost down low with my cell activator. So I have to use that sparingly. Okay, we're going to go medium high fan and cool air. But first, I want to kill these little dudes. Go away. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm excited to see this color. Let's move these back a little bit. Don't need to knock stuff over. I'm very good at that. Okay, here we go. I forgot to put the uh, purple on top, <clears throat> but that's okay. We'll be good. Um, this bugs me, but I think I can push that back with this next bloom. Um, looking good. I love the colors. I wish there was a little more of this. So you know what? For this one here, I'm going to start with the red. And let's just see if we can get a little bit more of this purpley color going on in there. I'm going to use a generous amount because it seems like the red is taking over and I did not think that. I thought it would be the other way around. There's my gold. I've got just enough for that other last bloom. Lots of gold in here. Now what I will do is drizzle some red because I did the red first. So let's just drizzle and glob. Okay, we're going to pop you guys. And I'm having a panic attack right now because I think, oh, no, you are in focus, so that's good. I'm just like terrified because I keep forgetting to do that. Okay, oh, you know what? There is some of the purple, the brilliant purple coming up in the center there, so that's really good. And I am just going to let this center do its own thing. I'm not going to encourage it. I'm not going to puff on it. I'm just going to see what happens. All right, so here we go. All right, we're gonna make a little bit of noise.
right. I would like to see a little few more cells in there, but we'll see what happens. Um, okay, so I started with my red and it still overtook, but you know what? I wanted red today, so I'm getting it. Uh, we're going to do one right there. And then we're going to add some of this. Let's blob a little bit more on there and see what happens. Love the combination. It's going to be very bold and very red. And what is wrong with red? I think it's going to be really fun, especially when I spin it out and um, when I lower the speed and I push out some of those cells, those cells are going to get even larger as I spin. So I think that that's gonna be really cool. All right, we're just going to drizzle just a little tiny bit, not nearly as much as last time. Okay, so I almost don't have enough of this gold. Um, all right, actually I have just a little bit more gold left and I'm just going to just blob it right in the center because I don't want to throw it away. Okay. Ooh, it is selling up finally, slow but sure. Okay, and we're almost done with this. There we go, almost done. Let's do this. Okay, so, so far, so good. I am loving it. I think it's beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful show. We need to let this come up a little bit. Um, I promise that I wouldn't help it out, but I just might. Uh, this one is coming up, but it could probably use a little bit of help. Um, let's see here. So excited that the gold showed up. I couldn't I wish the brilliant purple would have showed up a little bit more, but um, I think when I spin, maybe we'll see it uh, gleaming, gleaming its little face of purple here and there, and it might just be the right amount. So let's see here. Just for fun. Got a couple little white ones in there, but that's okay. Okay. Now I'm not real wild about that. We'll see once that closes in and sets back up. And hopefully I didn't ruin it. But I think it should be okay. I'm going to fill up my sides, let this sit for a minute or two, and then we shall be right back to spin. See you in a minute. All righty, we are back. And look at the beautiful cells. Oh my gosh. And this right here 
is from blowing the cells out on low speed. I left some of the uh, cells intact because I really want to see uh, what that looks like after spinning. I love the cell action and there's actually some of my bright uh, purple in there. So that would be fun to leave. Uh, here is the center bloom. And um, that's really pretty. And again, this is from blowing out on low speed. And then look at this brilliant, brilliant bloom on the end. I'm so hoping that I don't lose a lot of that. Um, it's so pretty. And this one here, sorry, I'm going too fast. Uh, this one here is where I puffed and uh, with a straw. And you know, it's not so bad. Um, I'm not real thrilled with the white in there. Uh, there's a lot of gold, but I think it'll be okay. So let me pop you back in the uh, tripod here and we're going to spin. I'll be right there. All right, let's make a mess here. We're going to spin. Okay, so we're going to go slow. Um, don't want to disrupt the centers. Just going to do that, see what happens, where we get uh, the paint to fall first. And um, going slow and gentle. Okay, so I think I need to add a little bit of paint right here in this corner to get that to pull off a little bit easier. Bring this over so it flows good. And I'm going to grab a little bit and put some right there to help with that as well. Let's check the other corners. A little bit needs to go right there just to get that to slide off. Okay, let's go this way. Little baby spin. Really wanting that to come off. Mm. Really, really pretty. This would make such a beautiful statement in, on any wall. Probably not this wall, but uh, in, on most walls, yes, for sure. Um, let's see. I don't mind that corner. That corner looks good. It's all filled in quite well. That corner looks good. I think I'm actually going to measure because if I could get away with not spinning anymore, I would be happy as a gopher in dirt. This would be awesome. But I have a feeling I may have to spin one more time and I'm really bummed because I don't want to lose that. Um, it's not bad, but I know if I spin again, um, I know that I'm going to lose it. And unfortunately, um, there's a lot of paint still in the center. Let me fix that bubble. So I think what I'll do is just do this. We're just going to go a little. Maybe we won't lose too much. Even if I could just keep a little tiny bit of the center on the canvas, that would be awesome. Um, all right, let's take another peek here. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I think I have to spin one more time because I still have a little bit too much paint right there. Let's just do it. I'm going to eat it and do it. Not much I can do about it.
It looks pretty on the side though. At least I have this. Um, kind of liking the negative space. Don't mind that. It's not um, overpowering. Um, I think I'm going to call it now because I think I got off. Let's just see. Yeah, that's better. Way better. That extra spin always helps. Okay, so let's just make sure that my corners look wonderful. This one here does not because it's white and I don't want it to be white. I want it to be the same color as what's on the canvas there. And this looks good. And let's see, I'm going to drizzle a little bit of that on there. Actually, I'm going to try and find some pink. Let's get that off on there. There we go. Much better. There. Okay, well, it is absolutely beautiful. I love the colors. Uh, the brilliant purple did show up here and there, a little peeking through uh, occasionally, not as much as I would have liked but um, it's really pretty. There's some in the cells, in the cells. Um, this poor little guy we lost, but I learned that the painting is in control most of the time. You just get to um, pretend like you know what you're doing. And then the painting says, ha ha. So um, let me get these real quick and then I'm gonna take you down. So, yeah, I, I, I'm happy with it. I really am. I think it's really pretty. All right, let's do this. I'm going to let you come down and take a peek at the results. There's the first bloom. It's really pretty. A lot of action going on. Um, lots of gold, which is what I wanted. There's the center bloom. Really, really pretty. And then there's our bummer bloom that we lost, but it's still beautiful and it filled the top of the canvas really pretty. Uh, what remained is lovely. It's soft and delicate and I'm very happy with it. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, please, and subscribe to my channel. That would be amazing. I would love that and appreciate it so much. And you all have a good day, and until next time, bye.